Hey guys, it's John here again. Today we're gonna do something simple. Let's make this chair. Come on. Let's make... Enough small talk. Let's get to it. Here you see me using a very beautiful model of a stool. This wasn't always a stool, it used to be a chair. But then my children so graciously upgraded it, if you know what I mean. And here I am dimensioning out the stock of random junk I have around my wood shop and cutting it to three inches wide and one inches wide. And once I have enough stock, I go ahead and set up my table saw for half lap joints. Half lap joints will give me lots of glue surface and strength so that way I don't have to worry about my big rear end breaking it when I sit in it. And I go ahead and make both front legs completely with both their dados and then I turn my table saw sled to 10 degrees and do just the tops of the back legs. The reason why is so now I can take one front leg and one back leg, connect them together and this enables me to avoid using math. I hate math. But now I know where the bottom stretcher will go and I can go back to the table saw and cut out that dado. Once that's complete, I can go ahead and put a front and back leg together and lay out the length of the top and bottom stretcher and then take it back to the table saw and cut that. You can see here that I'm using the pieces themselves to help me lay it out. Helps me cheat. Now after I do a quick dry fit, I can go ahead and lay out and make sure that both the front and back leg are of the same length. And after a second dry fit to make sure I'm not an idiot, I can go ahead and lay out the middle stretchers on the stretchers. It's a stretcher for the stretchers, if you get what I mean. Just make sure you measure from the same side. In other words, measure from the front or from the back. That way you don't have something cattywampus. Now once that's done, I glued it all together and I used my workbench. Bench. Is that... Look at that country accent. I'm fine. I'm normal. Get to the chopper! I swear. I'm perfectly sane. But now... I, this is funny, I actually give a thumbs up here because I thought I'd glued it to the table, uh, workbench, but actually turns out I glued them together on accident. It's okay, I just banged it out. Now I give a real thumbs up. Awesome. And then sanding is a good way to hide all of your mistakes. And if you're like me, I usually have one. Now that I have both the left and right side complete, I can go ahead and glue in the stretchers for the stretchers, if you know what I mean. And it's important to use as many clamps as possible, even if it seems pointless. It's the thought that counts, guys. Perfect. Now with that gluing up, I can go ahead and work on the actual seat. And I go ahead and cut it to the size I need and round over the corners. Now that that's done, I can go ahead, take off my clamps, put it down on the ground and give it a good test setting. This is also a good time for me to use a very technical skill here. You'll see me tracing out my rump, and you'll see where that comes in later. It's my good luck dog. I went ahead and pre-drilled and screwed the seat to the frame, and then I can take it outside. And here you see me using that very technical layout of my rump. I'm using it to power carve out where it will go and you can see it, it's a perfect match 
Now I like staining my furniture dark, like my soul. Simple wipe on, wipe off. And I like using shellac. Shellac just gives such a great finish and it dries so quick. I just got through wiping here and it's already dry from over there. You just can't beat it. And look at that. That's just, that's just nice. Thanks for watching.